What's happening around the world? It's time for another serving of news bites. 最近国内外发生哪些大事？午餐搭配 ISRT News Bites， 慢慢的一口接一口，吸收最新时事和趣闻。Hi there, and welcome to a new episode of News Bites. I'm Nancy Sun, and I'm Trevor Tordemasi. In today's news, mud explosions, bright bacteria, and Earth Day for Snoopy. All that and more coming up next. Top of Taiwan. 万丹泥火山再次喷发 ，mud volcano erupts in Pingdong. A volcano has erupted in Pingdong County, but it's not exactly what you're thinking. The volcano in Wandan Township is a mud volcano. 泥火山 Mud volcanoes do not have lava. Mud, hot water, and gas mixes under the ground, and they explode out when the mud volcano erupts. 地下水和气体经过泥岩地层混合成泥浆，到达地表后喷出。The eruption happened early in the morning, close to a temple, 寺庙 and the mud exploded so high that it went up to the second floor of the temple. The mud covered the temple's first floor. There are also lots of rice fields nearby, 在附近 People did not want the hot mud to get into the rice fields, so they used excavators, 挖土机 to push the mud away from the fields. This mud volcano erupted in October of last year too. Experts say mud volcanoes in the area will erupt one to three times a year. And about 90 minutes after the mud volcano erupted, there was an earthquake. The earthquake was magnitude 5.6. And some people wondered if the mud volcano eruption and earthquake were connected. 有关联 but experts say they are not. They say mud volcano eruptions and earthquakes are caused by different things. But still, that sounds like quite a crazy day. Going global. 细菌点亮法国小镇 Bacteria lights up French town. A town in France has a new way of keeping the lights on. It's not electricity, and it's not solar power or wind power. It's bacteria power. Bacteria, 细菌 are tiny living things. They are everywhere in our water, soil, and even in our bodies. Some bacteria are good for us. Some can make us sick. And now one type of bacteria is helping us make light. This is the French town of Rambouillet. In some places in Rambouillet, the lights are a bright blue-green color. That's because this light comes from a bacteria called Alivibrio fischeri. This bacteria comes from the sea, and it glows, 发光 a blue-green color. When living things make light, it's called bioluminescence, 生物发光 Many things in nature are bioluminescent: fireflies, some fungi, 菌类 and even some fish glow. We see this in Taiwan too. We're in the middle of firefly season right now, and Matsu is famous for its blue tears when algae in the ocean give off a blue light. Matsu 的蓝眼泪是指夜光虫窝边毛藻在晚上发出淡蓝色荧光的现象。And a company in France wants to use bioluminescence to make lights for people. Glowy is trying out this idea in the town of Rambouillet. Right now, the bacteria lights are being used in a COVID-19 vaccination center, COVID-19 email 接种站。And soon, the glowing bacteria lights will be used for street lights, shops, and even the Rambouillet Town Hall, 镇公所 Glowy says the bacteria are held in see-through tubes, 透明管子 The tubes are filled with salt water, 咸水 There are things in the salt water for the bacteria to eat, and air is pushed into the tubes to help the bacteria grow. 
Some scientists think bioluminescence could help us make light without using too much electricity and making pollution. Today's feature: Snoopy 庆祝世界地球日 Special Snoopy show for Earth Day. Snoopy, Charlie Brown, and all their friends have a special show for Earth Day. Snoopy, Charlie Brown, and all their friends have a special show for Earth Day. Snoopy, Charlie Brown, and all their friends have a special show for Earth Day. The new short movie is called "It's the Small Things, Charlie Brown." In this new story, Charlie Brown wants to win a baseball game, but his little sister Sally finds a dandelion growing on the baseball field, and she wants to protect the little yellow flower. Good grief! Soon, everyone starts helping to clean up the field. The movie is one of the ways that the Peanuts characters are celebrating Earth Day. The Peanuts Company hopes the movie helps everyone remember that small things can make a difference. 小事情可以造就大不同 The recap. So, in today's news bites, a mud volcano has erupted in Pingdong County. The eruption happened early in the morning, close to a temple. This mud volcano erupted in October of last year too. A town in France is using bacteria in lights. When living things make light, it's called bioluminescence. Some scientists think bioluminescence could help us make light without using too much electricity and making pollution. And Snoopy, Charlie Brown, and all their friends have a special show for Earth Day. The new short movie is called "It's the Small Things, Charlie Brown." The Peanuts Company hopes the movie helps everyone remember that small things can make a difference. And that's today's episode of News Bites. This week, we want you to have your say about time travel. It's fun to learn about the past and what life was like back then. It's also fun to imagine what the future will be like, and how very different our lives might be. But what if you could really see for yourself? If you had a time machine and could go anywhere in time, where would you go? Record your message and send it to newsbites n e w s b i t e s. At icrt. dot com. dot tw with your name and age, and if you'd like the name of your school, make sure to send us your recording by Thursday at noon, and you might hear your message on our show on Friday. ICRT 与教育部国民及学前教育署下次继续和您聊新闻。ICRT app 和网站也能重复收听。More local and international news next time on News Bites, brought to you by the K to 12 Education Administration. Find past episodes available on the ICRT website and app. <laughs>